Hello and welcome to Rick Martin's tutorial on constructing a sword in Blender 2.5 Alpha Zero. As you can see, there are a few differences between the old Blender version and this new one. But it still starts with this standard cube. I'm going to change the perspective to the top view. You do that by, by pressing 7 on the number pad. Now we want to rotate our cube, that's R. Rotate it 45 degrees. Now go into mesh edit mode by hitting tab. Hit A to unselect all vertices. B to bring up the box select. Select the adjacent vertices, top and bottom. Now we want to scale the vertices. So we hit S. Now we want to constrain our scaling to an axis. So we hit X, Y, or Z. In this case we want Y. So we'll shrink it down. This will be the cross section of the sword. Now we'll move to a front view. That's one on the number pad. Now we'll unselect the vertices. Hit B again to bring up the box select. Select all the top vertices. Hit the E key to extrude. Bring that up. Now S to scale. And we want to scale it all down to a point. Now we hit the W key to bring up the options menu. And merge. It, we can also get it to merge by hitting Alt M. And we want at center. Now we have the top of our sword. Hit A to unselect the vertice. B to select again. We want to select the bottom ones. G to grab and move. Hold down control to find it to a certain... Want to bring it down. Now if we want to pan down, Hold down control and hit one of the numbers to pan. Two pans down. Wanna pan down a little bit. Hit G again. A little bit further. That's good. Now we want to move the cursor to the bottom of the sword. Hit the left mouse button. Now we want to add. In previous versions, add was initiated using the space key. This is now changed. The space key brings up different menu options, such as full screen or save or load or open. But we don't want that. We want to add something. So go up to the top here in the menu bar, hit add, mesh, cube. We'll pan down a little bit. Now we want to stretch this cube out. So S for stretch. Stretch and shrink. Now we want uh, on the X axis. One out a little bit. Now we'll go to the side view, which I believe is three. Now we want to shrink this down on the y-axis, make it the same thickness as a sword. It's a little bit big, so it'll we'll shrink down a bit. And that's our hilt. Now we want to bring the cursor down a little bit more and add a tube. We'll stretch it up. We want to stretch it along the Z axis. This will be our handle. We'll grab, move it. 
go to our side view. Want to bring up our box select because I just unselected it. So you want to shrink it down a little bit. Go to our front view. Move it up. I will create a, we'll add on a sphere. And there we have a sword. Now if we render it, to render you hit F12, to hide the render window and go back to your regular window, so you hit F11. We have to select our sword and get up a little bit.